What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to create a Word template using Excel. Um, so let's get right into it. All right, on the left, I've got my VBA editor. On the right, I've got my um, worksheet here and what we're gonna be creating is a service agreement. So right here, I've got some lines of the service agreement that never change and then I've got some inputs for us to add uh, that will you know will change every time the file gets saved and this is going to be the folder where these word files will get saved all right so let's go ahead and fill the service agreement in so um, the person's name let's go with um, Greg and then age 31 town let's go with San Diego company the company the service agreement is going to be with let's just do XYZ company um, start date let's go with October 2nd end date um, December 2nd and the amount let's go with $500 all right so for a sub here let's call this um, create service agreement or you know let's just make a general create word template all right and then we'll declare our variables uh, we've got um, our word object that's going to be an object our doc object is going to be an object so this is going to be for like the word application for the file that we create and then we're going to also declare our worksheet WS as worksheet all right so now let's set WS equal to this workbook dot sheets and the sheet name is sheet one so we'll just go with sheet one here all right and then we'll set object word equal to create object and we'll be using the word application and then We'll do object word visible. We're gonna make sure the it's visible so you can see it. That'll be equal to true as well. And then we'll set object doc equal to object word documents add. Make that capital. And then right here is where we're, we're going to save our document. We're going to save it in the beginning. So we're going to do save as, and then we need our file path so we can get it from here. So if I right click, copy addresses text, I can just paste it right in here. And you see this kind of takes us off the screen here. So I'm going to go ahead and break it up. So you can do that with quotation here and then use an ampersand and an underscore to continue this line. Now I hit, I hit tab and um, we hit it another time. And then I continue over here. So we'll do, for our file name, we'll do backslash and then we'll continue this line again. Ampersand underscore. And we'll call it service agreement, the name of the file. We we'll use an underscore for that. And then let's go ahead and incorporate some of this spreadsheet into the file name itself. So we'll do, um, let's do another underscore. And we're gonna say WS, which we declared up here, right, is the worksheet. So WS sales range, sorry, not sales, but WS.range, we're gonna select, um, let's go with the name, so B1. So it'll say service agreement underscore Greg we want that text and then we'll do another underscore and do an ampersand so let me instead of doing underscore ampersand to continue this line we're actually doing an underscore in the file name that's why it looks a little different here we have the underscore in quotations so we're going to do ws range dot range and let's add the company name. So that's going to be B4. So B4 text. And then 
we'll do ampersand dot doc x. All right. So let's just run this real quick just so we can see it gets saved here. All right. So we've got service agreement underscore Greg underscore XYZ company doc. But obviously there's nothing in the document. It's blank. But um, we can delete this and continue on. All right. So with object word, we're going to activate it. That way, as it's processing, we'll see it on the front of the screen instead of it running in the back. So we'll activate it. And then we'll do selection, type text. So it's gonna actually type the text in front of us. We're gonna want the top line here, so A10. It's gonna say service agreement at the very top. So we want that text. And then we're gonna do dot selection type paragraph so that's going to break it down or take us to the next line down and we'll do that again so let me copy this and paste and then on the following line we'll do selection dot type text and we're going to do ws range and we're going to go to this next line here, A11. So A11 dot text. And then we're going to do ampersand. And we're going to have a space. So we're going to do quotation, space, quotation. And then we're going to use an and other ampersand with an underscore to go to the next line and do WS dot range. And we're going to start up here, B1. So it's just saying service agreement, then it's going to say this service agreement is made between and it's going to take this cell value right here. So range B1 dot text. And then we're going to continue on and grab the H space. Ampersand underscore range B2 dot text and let's continue on. So ampersand underscore go to the next line. We're going to do another quotation. So it's going to say name, age, from, and that's going to be the town. So from ampersand WS range b3 text ampersand and then do a comma there and, and continue to the next line ampersand underscore and then we're going to finish up this section with WS range B4, so the company, uh, text. And then we're going to add a period there. All right. So let's run this real quick to see how this looks so far. Oops. So we have to end our width. So let me end with. All right. So let that run as it is. And you see, it says service agreement. This service agreement is made between Greg, age 31, from San Diego, and XYZ Company. So I could change this, maybe put Carmen, and let's not save that, and run it. You see a new file gets made with Carmen in the name, and then the actual service agreement is updated with the name Carmen in it. All right, so let's continue. I'll just go ahead and delete these files. All right, so now we're going to say we're going to go to the next um, paragraph. So selection type paragraph and then dot selection type text WS range. We're going to go down to A12 now. 
text ampersand and we're going to do space ampersand and then underscore to go to the next line so we don't run out of space and now we're going to do ws.range b5 which is the start date we want that text and then we're going to say from that date to this date so now we're going to do um, b6 all right bear with me we are almost done and then we'll put a period on the end of that sentence and then we'll go back down another paragraph and then we'll have dot selection type text ws range a13 dot text so we're getting into how much is going to be getting paid I have a space go to the next line and it's going to be ws dot range b7 dot text and we'll just say so both parties so the client agrees to pay five hundred dollars and then we'll say for these services and then we're going to go ahead and go to the next paragraph and then we're going to say selection dot type text ws range a14 now dot text the space we're going to do ws range a15 dot text all right so i forgot my parentheses all right so we're good now Let's run this. Okay, so we're, now let's just add a couple of lines for like signatures. So we'll just say, let's add a few of these and then dot, oops. There, there, okay. And then we're going to say dot selection dot type text and let's just go with a long line like that and I'll copy this and just paste that. And before I say that, let's do dot selection type text. And we're going to say client signature. We'll add a couple of, couple of spaces in between. And then here we'll say service provider signature. Okay, so let's change this up. Let's put name 25, 50,000. Okay, let's change this to New York. All right. Okay, see that we've got our service agreement, got our signature lines, and um, got um, name, age, location, company, the date range, and the amount that changes every time and gets saved with the client 
in the company um, in the file name. All right, so let's say you don't want the file to pop up. And also we can't forget, we gotta, at the end of this, we've gotta set object doc equal to nothing. Oops. And we've gotta set object word equal to nothing. All right, but if you don't want the file to pop up, you just want you want it to be saved. You can do this. You can just say object doc close, and then object word quit. All right. So let's change this one more time. Uh, all right. Let's change this. All right, so file was saved, but it didn't open up for us. Well, it opened, it closed immediately. So I can open it up here. And you see you've got the updated details. So yeah, that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.